So when you've scotch guarded your carpet and sofa, and then you've let your infant child crawl all around it all day long, have you doomed your child to have a lifetime of struggling with diabetes and obesity later in life? Dr. G here with naturalfoodsdiet.org. Now that's a great question. Do environmental chemicals contribute to the obesity and diabetes epidemic that we're seeing here in our nation? Well, let me tell you about a national toxicology program workshop that was convened to deal with this topic. Now, the results of that workshop that were reported in Environmental Health Perspectives Journal in 2012. Now, the purpose of the workshop was to look for the evidence for the role of environmental chemicals and their contribution to diabetes and the obesity epidemics. Now, they identified various classes of chemicals that likely play a role. These include arsenic, which is found in uh, many cities' drinking water, and also some foods like rice, as I've reported before in one of my videos. But there are also persistent organic pollutants. That's the PCPs, dioxin, and DDT, which has been banned, thank goodness. There's also the organtoins. These are used in agriculture, and they're also used as a plasticizer for PVC pipes. So we find them pervasively in our water supply. Then there's phthalates. These are found in air fresheners, laundry products, and personal care products. Then, of course, there's BPA, which I've talked about several times before. It's in plastic containers and can liners. It's also in the replacement for amalgam fillings and the white uh, fillings. Now, other chemicals are also used in pesticides, fungicides, and herbicides. Now, I would add to this list the PFOA, that's found in Gore-Tex clothing, Scotchgard that I just talked about, that Scotchgarded crap, and of course the non-stick pans like Teflon. Now, we don't have all the answers. And that's not because we have tons of studies showing that any of these chemicals are safe, but we don't have a lot of information showing what the precise risks are. But we do have enough to identify many mechanisms of potential harm. So my advice to you is don't wait for the certain answer. You'll be fat and dead by then. Eat organic. Filter your water, and don't put a bunch of chemicals in your home, on your body, on your baby's body, or in your mouth. Minimize the use of plastics in your life. Now, do all these chemicals really make your life better anyway? For me, I don't think so. They're not worth the risk. This is Dr. G. Thanks so much for watching.